Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is October 1st, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see the lightning over the last 12 hours. The low pressure center moving just west of Salt Lake City as we speak. Could bring another round of thunderstorms here for the Sierra Nevada today. Still have some winter weather advisories out there. It's got some wind advisories. We'll take a look at those. We'll also take a look at the extended forecast. It looks like we're going to be building a ridge here across the west coast of North America, and we're going to start to warm things up. But we also have the potential for some tropical cyclone development down to the south of Baja over the next few days we'll take a look at that as we go through the video current hazards winter weather advisories some wind advisories still ongoing some red flag warnings out there across utah and new mexico also and across the higher terrain in the sierra nevada again you'd have the mountain storm potential national weather service hanford california showing that and wait for 30 minutes after you last hear thunder if you want to be absolutely safe when in and around some of this activity winter weather advisory continues through 8 p.m tonight two to five inches locally higher amounts potentially eight thousand feet plus so heads up for that that. that should be winding down as we go through tonight again. This day in SoCal weather history, tropical remnants moving up over the area are a lot of times the big headline makers here across much of the southwest of the USA in 1932 was no exception there. So we'll be watching that one closely down to our south. We'll check out some of the models on that here in a moment. If you want to save 10% off a nice affordable home weather station, click on that link down below. Stores all the data for you in the cloud. I have a lot of fun watching this station as we get some storm activity rolling in here to the west coast. So highly recommend that. This is a composite reflectivity, what the Doppler may look like here today. And you can kind of see that shower activity across some of the uh, I-5 corridor even. in some of the Southern California looks like a little bit of rain falling out there as well. Thunderstorm activity across the Sierra Nevada. Spin in the atmosphere there, bringing some of that activity across northern Arizona as we go through tonight up through Utah. Then this low is going to be kicking out of here. And you'll notice we start to dry out across much of the area by the time we get onto the day Tuesday. And then we're going to start to really bring some warmer temperatures in here. More on that here in a moment. Total snow. We still have some snow flying across the Sierra Nevada today, and you could even get some thunder snow out there as well. If, I don't know if any storm chasers are out there chasing that stuff, but yeah, you could get some lightning strikes out there with some accumulating snowfall. But anyway, you can see this really comes to an end and pushes off to the east here as we go through the day Tuesday. Here's lightning flash density potential just kind of showing you where this exists across some of the Sierra Nevada today, Nevada, Utah, and then a tonight northern Arizona as that pushes off to the north and east as we go through the night tomorrow and on into Tuesday morning. This is looking at 18,000 feet, general ridge and trough position. Ridge is out here, clockwise flow around the ridge. You can see the wind would go like this and back down around the trough. This marks our storm over the area right now and you can see its movement off to the east. Big ridge built across a lot of the Pacific Northwest and a lot of the west coast of North America and you can see this down here south of Baja. Tropical storm development potentially and the GFS shows it probably going to hurricane status as well. We'll be watching that because you know some of these things can be quite fickle on how they're going to move. Some of the models have been showing it going west and then back to the east. We'll look at that here in a moment. But you can see it here the national or the national hurricane center there for the eastern pacific calling attention to that 40 percent chance of cyclone formation in the next 48 hours out here so that's something we'll be watching here over the next few days this is looking at the gfs last night's run so watch for that tropical cyclone development area down here you can see the spin in the atmosphere there it looks like it would probably be a hurricane at this point and watch it march off to the west and do a complete 180 and swing back towards baja here so with this kind of movement this deviant motion here this tropical system we can't rule out some of this trying to move up to the north at some point but you know purely fantasy as of right now but we'll be watching this is looking at daily two meter max temperature this is for today you can see some low to mid 70s across some of the central valley the deserts you know nice and comfortable out there really bringing the temperatures down with this upper level low but you'll see the bounce back tomorrow tuesday wednesday Thursday. Look at some 90s returning by Thursday to the valley areas. The desert's warming up potentially back towards 100 degrees. Friday, the warm up continues a bit more as we start to build the ridge over the area here. Now, looking at two meter temperature anomaly, this is the GFS last night's run. You can clearly see this upper level of how it's cooled us down, but then watch as we start to go through the later portion of this week as we really warm up a lot of the West some of the Midwest there as well. And then you can kind of see this exist for a bit here. As we go through mid-October, things staying quite warm, at least according to recent forecasts here. So something for us to be watching here. And you can kind of see this Burbank, the red line is average temperature here. And you can see here a good 10, 12, 13 degrees above average here as we go towards the end of the week and then maybe continue that heat off through the extended forecast. Something similar for Fresno there. Again, that red line slow decline here as we go through mid-October. Highs up into the mid-90s here as we 
go through the weekend. Very warm stuff there. Ontario, California, uh, getting up towards 100 degrees here by the time you go through the weekend. Average height this time of year, right about 85, 84. This is Las Vegas. Nothing too crazy there, but you can see the above average conditions existing through the weekend into the early portion of next week. And same thing for Phoenix there as well. Temperature is 95 to 98 degrees or so, but yeah, pretty pretty tame compared to what you can get in the summertime though san jose check out that bump you can see 76 the average high this time of year you might be 18 20 degrees above average as you go through the end of the week sacramento something similar there and this is something here that um, monthly drought outlook this was issued yesterday you can see california just drought free there's no drought persists there's no drought improves nothing california is just basically drought free at this point very nice to see some portions of arizona and new mexico we need to work on though six to ten day temperature outlook much of the west coast above average here as we go through october 10th and not much of a signal for precip here across a lot of the west through october 10th also eight to 14 day again the signal all the way through <clears throat> excuse me october 14th and a little bit of a potential for some of that storm track to return to some of the pacific northwest and maybe include northern california but of course we'll be watching that day at a time and this is the monthly temperature outlook this was issued yesterday this is for the entire month of october and you can see much of the lower 48 except maybe the extreme southeast should be above average and you can see the precipitation outlook kind of below average across the pacific northwest and above average but again this is just kind of uh, looking at tea leaves at this point yeah, upper level low there. We'll be watching the thunderstorm activity, some winter weather advisories out there, some gusty winds for another day or two, and this low will kick out, and we're going to warm things back up here across the region, and we'll be watching that tropical cyclone development off to the south as well. So anyway, hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like and subscribe, and... Um, one more thing, if you know, I see people leaving five, 10, 20 bucks sometimes in the comments. And if you do that, let me know where you are and I'll do a little, I'll put up your temperature graph or your precipitation graph or whatever you want to request here. So, you know, if you want to, if you want me to talk about your area, that's a good way to do it right there. I mean, you don't have to do it, but I just see people saying thanks and leaving 10 bucks. Let me know where you are and I'll talk about your location a little bit if I, you know, once I have the time there during the day. So anyway, um, just, just an idea there. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and click like and subscribe and leave some comments below. And yeah, we'll do this again tomorrow and I'll talk to you guys then.